Hey everyone, hey, today I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the reverse gate cable on a 2014 Yamaha AR240. So what I did, I broke the cable. It goes right here. This thread was welded on to this gate here and so what it does when you pull the cable from the shifter it lifts up this you can go reverse so I over tightened this nut on the side over here which torqued this and broke it so here I have the new cable it's sitting right there So there'll be several steps as I'm kind of getting this ready. So first thing we gotta do, if you look right here, this thing right here, this little plug, if you break this loose, it'll allow you to pull this off and then get this thing which threads into the fiberglass right there, plug out of there. There's also one more piece, there's a cap. This cap also goes on the back side of that. It was on over everything. I took that off already. It fits in there like that on the back of the boat. So take that off. So I'm gonna use this little flathead here. And we're gonna pop that open so that we can get this off. I'm trying to do it one-handed. So as you can see that broke loose. Let me figure out how to get these apart. There we go. So we're not having to buy new parts. Hopefully we can salvage this and reuse it. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. So there you go, one piece off. This washer comes off. And we'll get that off. <clears throat> and I'm not reusing this, so I can take all these pieces off here. So that, the washer was underneath that this little rubber stopper goes on there. Then we can pull this part that threads into the boat off. So now we're free. So how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna tape the cables together and pull them through. I'll show you the next thing I figured out. So the back of the boat, Got your fuel tank. So the cable comes up under here, threads into the engine compartment. So in here, this conduit right here where my hand is, has the cables that goes to, goes to that side of the boat. Here's the main steering one, the real thick one. And then the thinner one right here is the one we're going to be pulling through. So I can pull on it. As you can see, pulling on it, it's moving. So that's the one we want. So it slides real free. So it's going to be pretty slick, I think, when I tape them together. This goes up underneath the seat. I'm going to have to pull the shifter off. I'll do that here in a few minutes and show you how to do that. And then we'll disconnect the cable from the shifter and then we'll pull them through and then reconnect. So I'll get that done in just a minute and I'll show you how to do that. So in pulling that cable through, we got kind of snagged up right, right there just where this, there's a little piece of wood, carpeted wood in the way where the, the uh, cable is a little too thick to come through that wall. So we're gonna release the screws so we can pull it through. Otherwise it probably would have pulled right through and we'd be connecting it to the shifter right now, but not my luck. Oh. 
there's a screw right there that just stabbed me. So be careful if you're doing this, if you get to this point. Other dilemma is if you are familiar with this compartment here, it's pretty tiny, kind of like a fat guy in a little coat trying to fit through there. So that doesn't help. But now I've gotten it pulled through. Cameraman, wait for my camera to come back. Let me clear the camera lens off. There you go, dude. We're gonna watch this wire pull through. So now I've got the, everything through, and there is our new cable. We'll just pull the tape off. All right, so there's our new cable. We'll have to get the other piece here we'll take this thing off here we'll have to figure how that comes off I'll have to uh, get my wrenches and take that little plastic piece off add it onto here and we'll replace that onto the new one and get her all hooked back up Okay guys, so we're putting this connector back on our brand new cable. So it just threads on, so it just twists on here. Twist it down until it stops. Now it's twisted all the way down. So, and uh, if you want, you can use this. This is a little 5 16th little wrench just to kind of snug that little nut right next to it. Just as a stop. So we're good there. All right, so now we're gonna put these shift cables back on to the shifter. So, the one we used when we replaced was on the bottom. <clears throat> so it goes in this little notch here. If you look, there's a little indentation right here. The grease is on there, but there's a little indentation in there. It's gonna go right in this little slot in this little compartment. Can you see that? Okay. Slide that in. Then we're gonna, since there's no tension on this cable, it's pretty easy to snap that down. So that snaps in. We're gonna get our little locking ring right here. See if we can get it to snap in. A little easier taking them off than putting them on, but get it in and just kind of push on the back end. So that one's locked in. Oh, I did that wrong, sorry. This one goes on the bottom. My bad. goes on the bottom locking ring next I'm sure that would have been interesting if you'd have left that alone like that trying to drive the boat here's the other one this one goes on top so I can find that little notch right there see the notch so it makes the notch, lines up in there. Push those down. And then snap that sucker in. Put your locking ring on top.
So now I've got these things in. They're both, both are in place with the locking rings. And then we're gonna put our <coughs> shift, shift cable cover back on. And this is all reverse of what we did earlier. Let me get my screwdriver real quick, ratchet screwdriver, which comes in handy. One, two, Okay, so now we're gonna the other side back together. Then we're gonna get our screws that we used earlier. One goes across. Where's that one at? Hold on, I'm sorry, it's right here. This one goes on the top. We got another one. on from this side. Okay, let's check the other one. Let's straighten it up a little bit more. Okay. And then we've got one more that goes across with a little nut. Which I guess it doesn't matter. The nut can go on either side. So I'm gonna do it through here. And the nut will go will fit into the you can't mess it up because the nut it's shaped just like the little hole. So you can't screw that up. Okay, so all three of those are back on. And if you look here, they're mar mine's marked at least, telling you which way is forward. So make sure they're both facing forward, so you don't put it in backwards. <clears throat> and then we're gonna put the four Phillips head screws in that we're in. Here's where that little ratchet comes in really nice on this screwdriver. Top of the last one. Face this one over here too.
All right. Hmm? Actually, you know what? There was one little piece. This little piece goes under there. Dang it, I gotta pull that back up. So, this goes <clears throat> underneath this cover, just a little. So I'm gonna pull the back off, put that back on. Then we'll go back to the downside under the boat and fix that. So, if, I don't remember, if you don't remember, we had a little plug come off right there this little ring come off with the cable it was hot glued there it is right there it's a little locking ring that goes on the inside of the boat to secure that hole and it has a little locking mechanism for uh let's show you here this part right here will thread into that thing there so I'm gonna try and pass it through. And I'll probably need to get a hand, so I'll be needing a second person to hold the other side before I can do that part. So we'll get back on the second part of the video. So now we're gonna put these all these locking parts back in, over the cable. This is going over the end of the boat. We'll put that on first. So that's gotta go in, and there's a locking ring on the other side so we're going to climb inside up on the boat and i'll have you hold that put your hand in there and don't let that move that white deal okay you have to get down on your knees and hold that white thing in there do not let it move so we open this where the plugs are at open this up Pull this little cover off here. This just snaps off. Get my flashlight in here. So in there is, let's find it here. <clears throat> There's that locking ring on the other side. So I've got to, if I can get in the film, get my hand locked in, just twist that on. It just threads on, and it was hot glued, had some silicone, whatever. I'll have to come back later, silicone it up, seal it. Sorry, I don't have a good view here. Lost my light. Tight space. All right, so now the locking ring is secured on that little seal on the other side. All right, coming out of there. You can let go of that now. By the way, I bought this Milwaukee flashlight. It is awesome, LED light. Sponsorship. Yeah, got a nice, nice lighting for that, for any kind of job. And you could tilt it to where you want it. So we're back on that cable. We're putting all these components back on. These are the parts that I took off the, the old cable. There's a little rubber stopper that goes on the back side. There is a washer. So the washer goes in. And then we've got this locking mechanism right here that snaps in. So that goes right at this part right here so click that in put those together like that so it's all one piece then this goes back up inside the boat uh, i'm not going to lock it all in yet we're going to put the other pieces back on so i've got this little nut actually let's put the little rubber boots back on these two rubber boots go on here
So there's a rubber boot that goes right there. Then we've got this other little rubber boot that goes at that point right there. Okay. So we put this locking cap on. So we've got all that on there. This locking cap finishes that up. We're not gonna finish it in yet. We're gonna go ahead and thread this on. So we put the little tiny, I think it's a 5 16 little nut on there. And this is where it was broken. So we're threading this back on. Till it stops, so it stops. <clears throat> I'm gonna give myself plenty of room on this, so. So we're gonna put that back in there. And then, I'm not gonna finish all this, but we're gonna put that in there. And this, you just tighten up by hand. Just thread that in there. Till it stops. And then this part here, it's, you can pull the cable a little bit if you need to. But it goes into your gate like that. So like that. Then we've got these two little nuts. They're 10 millimeter. Put one on each side. We'll start on that side. So these got these little bushings you don't want to lose. So make sure the bushing stays in. But basically you put these back in. Here, put those two, I'm not even gonna finish it. Um, put these two back in one on each side and then we're all done. So I appreciate you guys watch the video just to let you know the tools I used was a 10 millimeter on each side of these. This I did by hand, but if you had a wrench, this would be one and one sixteenth on each side of those. I used a Phillips head at the top, a flat head, and a little tiny mini flat head just to pop those locking rings off. Otherwise, don't need much for tools. So we're all done and hopefully this helps you guys. Appreciate it. It'd be nice if you could uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.